the triple C. I'ma make them bend the knee. Rolling with the triple C. Don't really got the heat. So BMF versus BMF. Guys, there is a huge interview right now with uh, George Masvidal. Is George Masvidal really done? I mean, I think he, I think he's at the point where it's a lot, man. Do you imagine trying to get close, fighting for the title for a couple times, like losing, and then start losing like quite a bit, and then being in the sport and from fighting in the streets of Miami, back backyard fighting, you know, back with Kimbo Slice and doing all the above. Like, do you guys think that? George Masvidal, just like he, he, he's, you know, there comes a point where things get stale. You want to, you want to do new things in your life. Cause I've been in that position. I wasn't fighting, freaking out in backyards or things like that, but wrestling at a very young age from, from 11 all the way to, all the way until I literally retired. It was a year round sport. Um, even even the first time I retired from the UFC or from mixed martial arts, man, you just want to go off and enjoy other competitions, kind of like I'm doing now. So I even enjoy sharing my knowledge and content with you guys. But if you're able to entice somebody who is willing to wake up and have a violent fight, like George Masvidal said, the, the quote unquote, this is what he said. He says, Man, I would love to fight Gagey, actually. That's a fight that I would love, man. Not, I don't got nothing uh, against him, you know, just that he beat my boy D, but I, I would love to fight Gagey because of his style, you know? In other words, he's opening the door. He's saying, Yeah, I'm done, but I'm not done. You know, I'm the real BMF. I mean, do you guys imagine how much that fight would actually sell? I do believe that the BMF does carry leverage now because the UFC did the right thing. After Masvidal, now they're giving it to Gaethje. Gaethje is one violent dude. You know, who wouldn't want to see a matchup with George Masvidal and Justin Gaethje? So this beef, guys, goes even before the BMF was even... Probably even considered because I, I, I want to say I believe at that time they were calling George Masvidal Street Jesus. Street Jesus And I think uh, Or Street Judas I forget which one it was And I think you know Knowing Gaethje He's very uh, He's very Catholic Like he loves the The principles Obviously he believes in God But he was uh, You know He never really liked that I remember him Kind of mentioning it to me He was like Oh he's just kind of Rolling with the flow He's like Nah I don't like it So he went out there And actually said it public Like you know what I'm saying I like to slap I don't know what the hell it was But What I'm trying to say here guys Is there's a storyline here you know, the fact that he said he didn't want Masvidal to put the to put the belt on him, he ended up doing it. I mean, that says a lot. You know, he ended up knocking out, you know, George Masvidal's, you know, training partner, one of his main training partners, knocking him out cold. But there's a storyline. I do believe that there's a big fight to be made, but I just don't know if Justin Gaethje is willing to wait. Uh, for that Because I know Justin Gaethje's One objective goal is And that's to become The absolute best in the world He's gonna wait on Islam And uh, Charles Oliveira What you got for me Matthew? So is there a scenario Where you think that Justin Gaethje Would want to take the payday The money fight And fight Masvidal Defend the BMF belt Before he fights For the undisputed Lightweight title Or he's just gonna wait And see what happens And his next fight Is for the belt At 155 pounds Okay, so they're saying that the more likely the fight's going to take place at, at lightweight in the beginning of the year now, or the middle of the year, I, I imagine. I'm talking about the lightweight fight, like the winner of Islam and uh, Charles Oliveira. Is there an, another opponent dead that the, maybe the UFC is looking at? Yeah, I think most likely Gaethje would be next, unless Oliveira would win, and then there could be a trilogy between him and Islam. Or even Volkanovski could fight Islam again if he wins before Gaethje gets a title shot. That's right. Did you guys hear that? If Charles Oliveira does win, there's a there's a trilogy, ladies and gentlemen. So then what, what happens there? Then that can open up for Gaethje. I know Gaethje doesn't want to wait because you're looking at maybe potentially a year until you actually fight. And I don't think, I don't think Justin, I think Justin's willing to wait, but I don't think he wants to wait. So I think for that reason... I mean, it's it's different, man. When you think you have something planned as a fighter or in the UFC and things don't happen, and then, then you just know that things are just off. So I like it, though. I say you book it. I say you get it going. 
I would like to see a BMF Justin Gaethje versus Jorge Masvidal. Last question. Who do you have winning that fight? Justin Gaethje or Jorge Masvidal? Who do I think wins that fight? Whew. God, man, I want to... I like them both, bro. I really do. I like them both. But I just think the viciousness of what Justin Gaethje brings, whew, it's just second to none. Like, he really is, man. The, the way Justin Gaethje was able to do Fiziev, that said a lot. Like, I thought Fiziev was going to do a lot better than what he actually did. But Justin Gaethje has those leg kicks. He has that power, man. He has that tenacity. And I think that would be very problematic for a guy like George Masvidal. though. So right now, guys, you know, I got I to gotta leave with, uh, with Justin Gaethje to, to all due respect to George Masvidal. But either way, guys, I want to see it.